Good morning, everyone, and uh, thank you for joining us today on our webinar on how to make UPS monitoring a breeze uh, with CyberPower. My name is Mark Domingo, and I'm joined uh, with my colleague Anisha Mohammed. Um, today, let's so, so, quickly click on slides here. Next slide, Anisha. So, um, like, uh, just to quickly introduce myself um, again, my name is Mark Domingo. I am the product manager for um, CyberPower here at Soft Solutions, um, and I'm joined with Anisha Mohammed. She is uh, our technical specialist. So um, I have joined Soft Solutions just over nine months now, and um, as a product manager, it is my responsibility to make sure that we are uh, we are currently uh, <clears throat> updated with our stocks. So I manage all the stocks, the pricing, and support escalations. And currently, we are the master distributor for cyber power here in New Zealand. Um, a little bit of introduction for yourself, Anisha. Uh, hi everyone, Anisha here. Um, I'm the technical specialist here. I've been here for about eight months and I'm really enjoying getting to learn um, everything that I'm doing. So um, yeah, I would be happy to meet some of you in the future. Thank you. And now uh, just uh, a little bit of an agenda um, for this webinar. I'll be touching on um, the history of cyber power. Um, the cyber power models that we have and the types of UPS backup topology that cyber power has and the technology. And then um, Anisha will be uh, talking on the different management options and she will also do a demo on the cyber powers power panel cloud platform um, dashboard. All right, so just to start off, um, the history of cyber power, they were founded in the US. Um, in 97, after which that they have just followed the lead on the internet revolution, right? So they are actually the first UPS that um, introduced a compatible, compatibility with Windows 98. And they have since entered um, major retail stores in the US like the likes of Walmart, um, Best Buy and Fry. So this was uh, around 1998 to 2000. Um, after that, uh, around 2005, 2003, they have expanded their market into Europe, and then now they have the UPS models um, that's uh, <clears throat> compatible with the taco industry. And also, they have started a partnership with, uh, with global distributors, the likes of Tech Data and Tel Labs. And um, from 2014 upwards until present, they are now available um, for more than 100 distributors worldwide. So. They're quite big now. Um, they're playing the big leagues, and um, that's why it's there. Uh, that's why we are distributing cyber power here in New Zealand. So, um, going into the different cyber power UPS models that um, we are currently distributing, um, we have obviously the smart app online. Um, basically, what it is, uh, it's ideal for high end data center systems. And then uh, we have the new smart up sine wave. Um, this is a new product that um, is actually customer based. Um, <clears throat> it has a sine wave output that uh, actually eliminates power gaps and that can be detected by sensitive equipment and uh, that can cause unexpected shutdowns. They also have a smart up LCD. It has an LCD display for easier um, UPS monitoring, um, power output and battery health. And then we also have intelligent LCD, um, almost uh, it's still the same. Um, it has that LCD display screen for easy monitoring. And then obviously we have AVR, all automatic voltage regulators. We have battery backups as well. And we have a deep PDUs or power distribution units so that you have more devices um, that can be connected and can be protected and backed up. And also we have surge protectors. Uh, obviously this, as the name suggests, uh, protects your devices from power surges. Uh, now I'm gonna touch on uh, the different type of topologies um, that cyber power has, right? So UPS systems, they have different topologies. Um, this, they have this to safeguard the devices against a different combination of power events. So um, the first topology that they mentioned is 10 by. Um, a standby UPS um, allows equipment to run off utility power and provide battery charging until it detects a problem, such as power failure, sag, surges. Um, when this does occur, um, the UPS switches to the battery mode to provide power for its connected devices. Um, so in saying that the standby basically is very cost effective and it's uh, suitable for home and small office applications. 
Now, the second topology would be um, line interactive. So um, line interactive is uh, it protects connecting devices from power failure sags and surges like a standby does, but also provides automatic voltage regulation um, against under and over voltage conditions without switching to battery power. So it's typically used to protect enterprise um, network and IT applications. So and and uh, the last one is uh, online topology. So the third and this is the third and obviously the last one. It's uh, called online or double conversion because of the UPS. Uh, it converts um, incoming AC power to DC and then back to AC while charging its internal batteries, providing ideal output power. Um, so in saying that it actually when the power the utility power fails it switches to the battery mode to keep loads operating and then after that the bus supplies buffer energy um, to prevent total energy drop during switch operations in this case you have zero um, transfer time right now um i think that's about uh, all the ups that we have um i'll transfer it on to anisha to touch on the cyber power management options. Awesome, thanks Mark. Uh, so there's um, a few different ways to manage um, uh, where you can see information and monitor your um, UPS unit. So um, some of the models have um, an LED interface and that's just nice and straightforward. Um, you've got the LCD interface and with the LED and LCD interfaces, um, you don't need any additional um, accessories. You'll see it just displayed on the front of the UPS. Um, it displays basic um, UPS information, such as the voltage input, output, and the battery level. And then um, if you want to do UPS settings, then we've got the power panel um, software, which is what we'll be um, discussing and doing a um, demo with shortly. So with power panel, um, software this personal and this business um, they both allow for advanced settings advanced monitoring um, and for it um, personnel and it um, infrastructures it's best to use power panel business because this is where you can um, have a centralized view and a centralized management capability um, to manage the ups so i'll just um, take you guys through a demo of um, the power panel uh, local power panel business local software so just bear with me while I um, bring up that screen. If you could just confirm that you can see um, my screen with the Power Panel business app, please. Yep, we can see that. Awesome. Okay, so you've purchased a um, CyberPower UPS unit and you've plugged it in. So what next? So the next steps will be um, you'll grab a USB cable and you'll plug one inch into the CyberPower um, UPS unit. The other end will go into your PC or laptop. I've got mine plugged into a laptop. So what are we doing now? So um, next steps, what we would do is you'll log into the power panel business local dashboard and at first sight you'll see you should see um, a lot of green so green always means good right so that means um, everything is normal so at first sight you see a lot of basic um, information that gives you an indication as to um, that your ups is working functioning as it should um, when you first connect it up um, you may not see the events here but um, as time goes on, you will. So you'll see um, events so when, um, if the um, UPS in a lost connection, when the connection resumed, um, if the local host lost communication, if the battery test was successful, you'll see all that down here. Um, a few more basic information um, about the host um, PC. So what's the device, where is it stored? What model is your UPS? and um, input voltage, output voltage, your battery volt, um, voltage. And then, so next step is you want to go into your UP setting and you would want to go into, um, I think Mark, you might have to mute yourself. Thank you. 
Um, yep, so you'd go into UPS setting, go into diagnostic, you do um, click on test, and what that will do is it'll test the battery. So it's always good to do that at first point so that you know the UPS unit is functioning as it should. And you can also do a runtime estimation test as well. Um, the battery test just takes about 30 seconds. Um, the next thing you would want to do is you would want to go into um, configuration and configure your power failure um, conditions. So what are your conditions that you want to set for upper bound and lower bound um, voltage? What's your battery threshold that you want to set? Um, do you want to have an alarm when there is a power failure? So we've enabled ours. It's a good idea to keep it enabled. You then want to go into scheduled shutdown and you want to schedule your shutdowns. Um, so we've got ours scheduled for a, a time period when no one should be in the office and no one should be affected. So we've got it set to 8 p.m. Um, and restore back at 8 or 2, so just a time down of two minutes. This happens weekly for us, but you can select uh, different frequencies. So you could do once daily, weekly, um, date, time. You can do all of those settings. You then want to go into a very um, key thing here is monitoring, right? So you're going to go into notifications. We're going to go into notification channels and um, based on which channel suits you, you would set up um, your communication channel. So where you should receive those notifications from, sorry, notifications to. So you could do email, you could do SMS, um, go through and configure all of your settings. And you then want to go into um, recipients and you want to select um, who the recipients of those emails should be and you then want to go into notifications itself and um, read through which ones key so we have all on because all of it should be key but um, then you would go to send um, if you want it to be um, if you want to receive the notification, you'll select instant. If you don't want that notification to trigger, then you would keep it as inactive. And then um, in terms of troubleshooting, so if you want to look at some logs, um, if something's happened and you want to go have a look at the logs, what's going on, what's caused it, um, you can go to reporting. Um, you can look at event logs. Um, you can filter them by time, day, category. Um, you see there's a lot of logs that come up, very detailed time, um, date. You can look at um, data logs, so the input voltage, the output voltage, the frequency. Um, you can see the load capacity runtime, very helpful information. Um, you can also look at the energy use, so if um, you can set it to New Zealand and it gives you kind of an indication of what the energy use, energy cost is. Um, You've also got input on metrics here, such as based on what dates you want to look at, what's the average daily energy use, what's the total use, um, what's the total energy cost. So these are very helpful information. Um, and then you've just got um, a little bit of a help button here. So if you want to update the um, power panel software, um, or if you want to head to the website to have a look at something. Um, and yeah, so that's how easy it is to set up the power panel um, business uh, software to monitor your UPS. Um, if you do want more information and more in-depth information about how to monitor the UPSs, um, please do feel free to reach out to us at cyberpower at softsol.co.nz um, and we um, can definitely take you through a more in-depth walkthrough. Um, what I'll do is I'll pass it back to Mark now, so just bear with me. I'll share those slides again. Thank you, Anisha. So as you can see, um, Anisha just walked you through, through the Power, Power, Power Panel Cloud Platform and it uh, just shows that how easy it is to monitor UPS and shows everything, all this vital information that you need to know um, within your current backup system, right, uh, with Cyber Power. Now, um, just a quick summary on what we had, um, just a recap. Yep, so um, in summary, um, we uh, we talked about the history of Cyber Power, the types of UPSs that we have. Um, if you do need um, any quotes, please reach out to me and Anisha or sales or cyberpower at softall.co.nz. Um, we'll be happy to send out a code for you. Um, our stocks are based in Takanini. Um, we have a warehouse there. 
And yeah, if anything, just reach out to us. We also have a demo unit that's uh, in place right now. So if you want to have a play around it, um, see how it uh, feels and whatnot. But yeah, just feel free to reach out. We'll be happy to, uh, to assist you on that one. So if there's anything else, um, thank you very much for joining us again in the webinar. And cheers, guys.